Okay, so here we are, back in the bedroom. <laughs> morning, Mrs. T. Good morning. Have I got you out of bed? Yes. Yes, and look at the hair. Yes. It's lovely. Yes. I did give her time to actually do it, but I she said out. she couldn't be bothered. Right, why are we here? I'll tell you why we're here. We're doing a 10 month later review on the Emma mattress. Now, if any of you have seen us, we unboxed the mattress in whenever it was last year, 10 months ago, funny yeah, that. Yeah. And we're just gonna give a quick update on what it's like sort of 10 months later. But we still got it, that's a real We've still got it, so yes. we never sent it back in the guarantee. So that's really good. So you fire away first, what are the positives of our Emma mattress. Oh, no pressure then. Right, okay. Uh, the big positive is every other mattress we've ever had in the, in the past, there's a slight difference in weight between me and Mr. T. Um, and every, every mattress we've had- Is that because you're a little bit heavier these days? Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, but every other mattress we've always had, I'd lay on the bed in the middle of the night, fast asleep, and then he would turn over and it would be like a bouncy castle. In fact, we call them bouncy castle call, mattresses, yeah, don't so we? Yeah, so whenever we go into a hotel that's not the best hotel, should we say, and it's it, it, we have that um, sensation, it's a bouncy castle mattress. But the one thing about this is, it doesn't move. It, it feels as if I'm just sort of like perched on the top, sorry about that, uh, perched on the top, um, and you know, you can move about and, and nothing else moves. So it's it's brilliant in that in that respect. It's not bouncy castle. No, it's not bouncy castle at all. So um, that's, that's the best thing. Um, second best thing, I don't know, it's just comfortable. It's, it's comfortable. When I first sit on it, and when I get into bed at night, or when I first get into bed, it feels as if I'm sort of like perched on a ledge because it's, it's quite high up. But then when you actually get into, into bed and you've got your cushions on and everything else and you sort of slender into sleep, it's just lovely and, and squishy. And Obviously we have covers and quilts and pillows. We don't sleep like this all the time, do we? Don't tell them that. Oh, right, okay. Um, so that's good. Now, I, I don't know if you can actually, can you get off the bed, Mrs. T? Oh, I thought I was allowed to go to sleep then. No, no, I've only just managed to prize oh. you out. <laughs> right, I don't know if you can actually see, if you look along the headboard, there is a dip either side. Mrs. T's dip is over here on the left, <laughs> and mine's here on the right. Now, the one, the bigger dip on the right is me, because I am slightly larger than Mrs. T. <laughs> but there is a dip, so that dip is a good thing because that means both sides have been moulded into our bodies. Yeah. But I do find that if I go over halfway across the mattress, that sort of raised bit in the middle is still quite hard. Is it? Yeah, so you do roll back into your dip. Oh, nice. But I find that specifically if you're away, yeah. I try to sleep on the raised bit in the middle to try and toughen that up. Or... Oh, is that your excuse for doing the starfish when I'm not here? Great. Yeah, right. But... um. And, and that really is, is the only negative I can find, but it is really, really comfortable when you get in that bed at night and you can just get into that position and the bed knows your position. Interestingly, you know when you have um, a normal mattress and you can, you can really see dips? You know, yes. And, and, and things, I mean, you can't really see dips, so you have to look for them. Yeah. Um, and you can, but when you're in a normal mattress, you can really feel the dips. So what do you do? You turn your mattress round, you turn it upside down once every sort of uh, every time you change the bed or whatever else. We've never changed this. No, We've no, never you it. don't move it. Um, <clears throat> so true to say we do get a good night's sleep on here? Oh yeah, absolutely. We do, don't we? Yeah. Um, I don't think there's been an uncomfortable night. We all have a night where you can't sleep well, but that's yeah. not necessarily due to it I being uncomfortable. I must admit, the first, the first week or so, I, it, it, you did have to get used to it because it's a lot har harder... That is a good point, actually. You know, than, you, ...than you would expect. But, you know, you, you, you sleep through it, as it were. And, yeah. And you, and you get I think it was longer for me. I think it took me nearly a month... ...to actually get used to it. Um, so this white cover on the top comes off, and that can be washed in a washing machine. And it just zips off. I'm not sure where the zips the are. Zips the, the zips at the top. Yeah. So that literally comes off. So um, I suppose it's getting to that time where we ought to think about washing it one day. <laughs> Although, uh, I have to say, it still looks very clean. But we uh, should wash it to get rid of any creepy crawlies or bed bugs or, or what they, whatever you call them. But that does come off. You can actually see the zip there. Yeah, if you want to have a look, we can do that for you. come off all the way around right. and that will um, 
So that shows you what it's like. The whole like. lot can come off if you want Yeah, the whole to. lot can come off, but I think the whole idea is you can take the top off and wash it. Are the washing instructions Yeah, all there? the washing instructions there, look. I don't know what they mean, so can you sort of... Well, 40, uh, 40 degree easy easy wash or whatever, don't so tumble dry. So you wouldn't dry. put it on the boil, boil wash? Yeah, yeah, don't, no, don't tumble dry, don't um, don't um, iron or anything like, it, like that, but... Right, so you can go on a 40 degree wash, you know, washing machine, and then just sort of hang out to dry or... Yeah. So... Yeah. Well, that's interesting to know because we're going to have think, to do that. I think sometime. it means don't don't dry clean either. I think I think that's what that means as well. I don't know what we can't. Do you want to hold that label still? Oh, there sorry. you go, holding the label still. That's how you do it. That's don't what iron it. it. That's what it says. That says don't iron. I think that means don't tumble dry, and that means don't. I don't know. But I thought you're a lady. You're meant to know all these symbols. Don't, don't you they start. teach you in in home economics <laughs> at school? <laughs> Mind you, you haven't been to school for a long time, have you? No. no. <laughs> So there you go, and for those of you who think that that was a condescending remark, yes it was. Yes it was, you yeah. sexist pig. No, he's not a sexist pig, really. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but uh, who does the washing in the house usually, Mrs. You T? Do. Thank you very much. So there we go. You do all the house um, work. So there is our Emma, uh, 10 months on. She's growing into the family. Um, we love her, don't we? We certainly do. In fact, we, that's it goes all the way around, by the way. Well, we should do, because I think the, the whole top comes off. Yeah, I think does. you wash, does. wash the it top, does, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we would still highly recommend Emma to anybody that's thinking about getting a good mattress. Uh -huh. A lot of people have commented on our other video when we were unboxing yeah. about the smell. The smell? Yeah, the smell of, sort of rubber or... I've never noticed that, I've have you? Noticed it, no. no. So and I've got a real high sense of smell. I hate smelly yeah. things. So um, if you do watch our other video, which is the one about unboxing it and see the comments about the smell... Um, sort of the rubber smell. I've never noticed any sort of smell from it, no. um, and Mrs. T hasn't either. So can't comment on that one. But um, I suppose everybody's sense of smell is different, and people can smell things more than others. So from our point of view, that hasn't bothered us. But there you go. There's Emma. Well, that's not Emma. That's Mrs. T. But that's Emma. She's been in our bedroom now for ten months. She has made a difference. She has. Um, and yeah, would highly, highly recommend to get one. And don't forget, when you check out their website, look for special discounts because there are lots of discounts for the Emma mattress all over the place. And it means it makes it even more of a bargain. So there you go. Um, if you found that of interest, please, please, please give us a thumbs up. We would really, really recommend it. And hit that red button. Beep, 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 and subscribe, because the more you subscribe, the more of these little videos and things we can bring you. Can't be Mrs. T. Yes. And don't forget, give us some feedback. We want to know what you think and what your experiences are, because it's not just for us. No. This also helps other people. To make their decisions. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> to make an informed decision. So there you go. Thank you very, very much for watching. Thank We're you. going downstairs now to have some toast and coffee. Yes. Put the washing on. Oh, yes. And catch up on some dramas that we've missed in the week. Yes. And uh, really, just to see what's going on on YouTube. Thanks for watching again, and bye for now. Bye. bye.